Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hey, my name is Whitley Janae. And today's video will be a different kind of video. It's actually five o'clock in the morning and I decided to stay up tonight because my sleep time is off or whatever. So I'm trying to stay up all night. So cross my fingers and hopefully I can do that. Um, but today's video is actually regarding face masks. I know a lot of people right now are trying to look for face masks and I know people are having difficulties finding face masks so I am creating this video helping you guys know how to make face masks at home under a dollar using basically the things at your home. So I'll be showing you guys different things um, and tools. So one thing I'm using is scrunchie. I'm using some fabric I got from Walmart. If you don't have fabric or if a local Walmart doesn't have fabric or you don't have means to go to a fabric store or whatever, um, Walmart does have bandana. So if you have like a bandana, like a little square bandana, that will work too for this DIY. Or if you have an old shirt or something that you no longer wear, maybe it's too big or too small and you was gonna throw it away anyway, you can cut the fabric from that. Um, there's multiple ways you can get a piece of fabric. So. You can literally make this out of the supplies you have at your home. Um, like I said, scrunchies, like a hair tie, um, or even anything with elastic band can help you with this. Um, so, yes. And if you are new to my channel, hey, my name is Whitley Janae. And the things that I post on my channel as far as health and cancer is concerned, which is why I'm making this video, um, vlogs, lifestyle, beauty, fashion. Make sure that if you're not subscribed to my channel, you click the subscribe button down below so you are aware when I post my next video. Typically, I post two to three times a week, so make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are aware when I post my next video. So, without further ado, yeah, let's just jump into the video. Okay, so first, you can get um, a either a new or your older face mask. And I have a few of these, but I don't like to look like everybody else, you know. I like to have my own. So this is one way. One way, you can just cut up the seam. So I have like a half an inch on each side. Extra. If you don't want your mask to be super thick. You know, you don't want it to look bulky. This is a way. Don't mind my nails. Y'all know quarantine. We can't get our nails done. <laughs> so, right here, I'm going to fold. And I'm going to also list the filters you can use to replace it. To put a filter over top so it can keep it fresh. I will list that up in the screen below and also in the description box. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this. Um, if you like, you can get an iron, an iron right here, or if you have a hot glue gun, you can get a hot glue gun, or if you have a needle and thread, you can sew across the top to make sure that this don't fall, this don't do them flat back like this. So it just depends on what you want to do. But um, I'm going to show you the way that I'm going to do this. That's sturdy, so it won't move. And just stick this right here. And y'all know my hands are ashy. I told you guys about that before. And put it in. Now one thing you can also do is right where the string meets. You can cut a little line so that the string can come out like this. So you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna do that to both sides. 
and like I said this helps make your mask reusable and also give it a little design you know so you go to your favorite fabric store um Walmart even sells fabric and you can do this at home and I'm gonna show you another way that you can do this too so I'm just going to move that over this candle smells so good by the way so if you never had this candle it smells divine and remember you can always iron this down this is just a way that you can do it if you don't have any additional now what you can do is you can put the filter inside of here and touch it right here or if you like you can put the filter on the outside it's completely up to you and then just put these in and let one of the flaps cover over top like that and that is one way a um, mask right here I already folded it but I'm just gonna redo it for you guys really quickly so a pretty amount of size that's how I want the size of a um, bandana so I'm just folding into three like so again if you want you can put um you can iron it then I'm gonna place my mask right here over top and the same process goes flip it inside flip it inside you can tuck this piece inside of here and now you have another one another thing that you can do as well is if you don't have a older or a uh, face mask you can use a scrunchie and put this as a scrunchie so what do I mean by that so if you guys do not have a face mask all you have to do is get a scrunchie and depending on who's using it if it's an adult just get the scrunchie put it on there like so and the same thing fold over fold over put the cloth in the inside like so and another face mask um, also if you don't even want to use this much fabric um, another thing that I can recommend you doing is like a hot glue gun if you want to customize these um, just do enough to where it covers the top part of the mask like this and do the same thing on the end and you can either hot glue gun let me just turn around you can hot glue gun right here like right here and then place the mask over top and you can have different color mask that way and then place a filter right here and just rechange the filter out so that's another way that you can do it without using a whole bunch of fabric um, but it's just up to you and your preference and what you would like to do well thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys found this video very informative if you did um, please let me know what kind of patterns are you able to make this DIY at your home make sure again that you like comment and subscribe and make sure you share this video with your friends or family because literally everybody needs face masks now um they made it where yes people definitely with high risk like myself should have face masks but they want us to buy non-medical face masks so obviously everywhere is sold out so this is the way for you to have face masks if you don't have one to make one inside your home Again, I hope you guys found this very informative. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you like this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace, Posse.